Hey guys, it's Jessie Holton here, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Thanks for joining me for another crafting video today. I thought that I would have a little bit of a play around with the Bella and Friends stamp set. So my aunt, or my husband's aunt, um, has had some shoulder surgery, so I thought that I would make her a really cute card. And... Let's have some fun with it. I think um, she's got quite a good sense of humour. So, might use some berry burst. <laughs> Do it nice and pink and cheerful. And I've got some cardstock here. We'll make a couple of these, hey, because they're going to be a cute card. Hmm. Love a little bit. So I'll leave this out because we might. We might cut some bits, I think. Cut some uh, some layers. And what else can I chuck on there? Might use some of this um, delightfully detailed laser cut stuff it's really beautiful and I haven't used very much of it yeah it's one of those things hi Sarah hi Chrissy oh both Sarah's <laughs> hi Margaret hi Chrissy oh, I've already said hi Chrissy <laughs> can you tell I I didn't get much sleep last night guys I'm gonna be honest with you Trying to get my video up on my iPad here. I'm having another go at it. Being able to see the comments because my phone is up too high when I'm filming. I'm just going to make sure. I don't know if there's going to be any volume on this. I always have this issue issue when I'm trying to watch my own videos live I don't think I've got enough um, you know uh, what's it called the network <laughs> I'm very technically minded just in case you didn't you didn't know I know all about the doodads and the watsons alrighty so we'll hit play and hopefully hi Gail hi Wendy thanks for sharing guys Hi Carol. There we go. At least I can see some of the comments now that I'm still not playing. Don't know. Might be above my pay grade. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. How beautiful are these pages? I'll stop fluffing around, hey, okay, and we'll just get into the card making. So, you get this one. I'll put it on here so that you can see it a bit better. Isn't that lovely? So you can just cut the, use your trimmer, cut this bit off first, and then you can cut down this way and cut that way and you get these six card fronts and you get all of these little bits of 
embellishment. These are great for wrapping the little boxes and things. Um, but they're also big enough to put on your scrapbooking pages. So they're quite lovely. And then stunning, absolutely stunning. Is this bit. Now I'm just going to bring it all out. Because I'm... I'm being super careful because I don't want to break it when I pull it out. Isn't that stunning? So you can use this as a full 12x12 12 12 sheet for like a scrapbooking page or something like that. Or you can trim in between all these little leaves and <clears throat> you can sponge them and they're just beautiful. So I do need to make use this and make it into something. It's just so pretty. I don't have an issue with cutting up my designer series paper. I do love it, chop it, as good old Kylie says. But <laughs> I have an issue with this, cutting this. And it is really beautiful because I have used um, some of these sheets, I just haven't used that big one yet because the big one is just I, I want to do a I want to do a scrapbook page with it because it's just perfection, isn't it? It's beautiful, but I don't really scrapbook much. <laughs> so yeah, lost cause there. I'm gonna try one more time to get this video up. And then I'm going to give up on it because it could it should come up should come up on my page and I'm not sure why it doesn't like to show up on my iPad at the same time so we're just going to trim this A little bit closer to the other ones. And I'm actually using the the little runner as the guide. Can you see this little grey bit going along? I'm just um so you know this bit comes out of the trimmer. So I'm using this thin bit as the guide, that little line that you've got there where the, the insert goes in. And so if I've got that lined up, if I can see that the whole way along, then I know I'm nice and straight. Alright, here goes nothing kids. That's one bit done. <laughs> and then we cut off this side bit. And this is one of the celebration items, I think, at the moment. So you can choose this as a freebie with your $90 order. And celebration, by the way, is ending very soon. in 11 days it's ending in 11 days celebration will be gone for another year and won't we miss it all the freebies we get spoiled rotten don't we Must have oh that there is sticky I think. Oh no. I've got all my leaves tangled. I'm trying to get this bit lined up and it keeps sticking on something.
There we go. Maybe it was those guys down there sticking. Anyway. How pretty are these? You got all these beautiful little card fronts and you can sponge over these so you can use them as a mask and then then you use them on the card as well so they are absolutely beautiful Okay, so that's how you cut it up. And then you've still got these bits nice and long. You haven't trimmed through those. And I did have one spare. You only get one of these on a, on a sheet. These uh, ones with the diamonds on them. I had one left over from the last sheet I used. So, let's get this pretty little floral one. This one. I'm just going to pop these back inside the packet so that they don't get caught on anything. Okay. And a piece of Whisper White. So I have this Whisper White cardstock already pre-cut to my insert size, which is... Um, 10.5, uh, sorry, 10.1 by 14.5. Okay, still fussing around with this video. I don't know what's going on with it. It just does not want to play for me. Okay, I've officially given up on the video. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape and plug my phone in before it dies. Hi Karen, hi Kimberly, hi Jenny, hi Sue, hi Juanita, hi Sarah. Yes, Wi-Fi. Thank you, Sarah King. That was what I was looking for before. <laughs> I'm very technical. You can tell, can't you? Okay. So, let's get sponging. I have got a fishing tackle box here that I stole off my brother, uh, off my husband. And then I've also got one of these which I think came through eBay, but I got it off another demo. Um, so I've got some sponge daubers in here and then I keep my sponges in here and I, I, you get three for like six dollars or something. They're super cheap. The stamping up ones are really good. They don't fall apart. And as you can see, I cut mine in quarters because I just find them easier 
to to hold on to like that and you get that nice round edge and it's just enough for me to be able to hold on to and when you I've just stapled um, some of them have the old washi tape punch and these ones are the classic label punch but I just um, do a punch and I write the name on it and then I staple it in there so it gives you something to hold on to when you're when you're using them uh, and I don't have one for every color I use them just for similar colors uh, but I think I will use the Dorbers which as well I have I just use similar colors I don't I don't have one for everything so let's do some berry burst that's mint and this is rose red but that's all right that'll work for berry burst rose red is an old um, retired color anyway so do berry burst And I'll get out my mint for afterwards. So anything that's sort of pink uh, would go well with this one. I'd probably use the same one for sort of all of the melon mambo and the darker, the darker pinks, maybe even. I don't know what other colours, lipstick. They'd all be on the same one. Alright, so here's a little tip when you're doing your sponging and you've got some colour up on there. You can see, if you look really closely, you can see all the little uh, bubbles that are within the sponge. Uh, so to get an even colour when you're, when you're doing your sponging, just put it off on here first and then pick it up again. And I know this seems really trivial to do, but can you see all the dark spots? That's coming out of the little bubbles that are in here. So by taking it off and putting it back on again, you're actually just coating the very top of the sponge and getting all, all out of the out of the bubbles, out of the dark bits, the little um, air pockets in there. So you'll get a much, you won't get this, um, you know all of the marks you'll get an even a nice even coverage it'll be a, a more consistent color anyway so you can do that with um, the finger daubers and you can also do it with uh, the actual sponges as well so I'm just going to go over where the flowers are And I probably should have started with the lighter colour, which is the mint macaron, but that's alright. So it's a bit of a slow process doing the sponging. And you just want to tap rather than rub. Which again makes it a bit slower, <laughs> but especially for this kind of thing where it would rip so easily and wouldn't that be a shame?
I'm just being very careful here to make sure that I am dabbing in the centre bit especially because that's where it's most fragile. And now I think that's all my flowers. I'm just going to make sure with these bigger ones that I've really got um, it a bit darker in the centre. Okay, so I think that's it for the berry burst. And you can see I'm rubbing off the dauber before I use it. I have found some of them, they, uh, if you've got old ink in them when you put them away, um, sometimes it turns a little bit yellowish. So just make sure that you're not leaving any sort of other colour behind when before you go and use them on your card. Oops, I closed that. I'll open it again. Eee. And I'm just going to come in and fill in everywhere else. My wrist is getting sore. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. <laughs> I missed. Uh, yeah, it could be because I'm already in my account. That's right. Thanks, Sarah. Hi, Missy. So I think maybe next time, if I try to have a look on Facebook again, maybe I'll log in as my husband. Log in as my husband and then see if I can watch my video from... From Dave's account and you know I might just accidentally leave a couple of comments on people's photos while I'm logged in as him <laughs> no not really I'm a horrible wife but I'm not that bad <laughs> it's actually our anniversary on Saturday which we have been married for six years. So that's pretty crazy. I actually don't know where the time has gone. See, I'm so sleep deprived that I can't keep track of time. <laughs> and we got together in 2009. So we actually got married, we, we started um, hooking up 
as the young people call it. On the 23rd of October 2009. And then we ended up getting married on the 23rd of March 2013. So... And it's pretty much the worst one night stand of my life. Still in it. Still in it. And what's that? 2009 to like 10 years. Jeez. Nine and a half years. Nine and a half year long one night stand, guys. It's pretty terrible, isn't it? Could, I could think of worse people to be stuck in their relationship with. Like all my exes. Ah! <laughs> uh, maybe not all of them. Some of them were alright. Some of them. Not all of them. That's for sure. Alright. So... I am now going to very carefully take off this bit because I probably shouldn't have sponged up to this last area because now I've got a nice white spot there where I've been dabbing away over the top of the washi tape. I'm just going to cover that up a bit. It doesn't look too bad. To the untrained eye. To be very careful here because I've got no tape I'm relying on my own self to hold this paper in, in place. Okay, are you ready for the great reveal? Isn't that absolutely stunning? So now we can make two cards. So it's worth the effort, right? How pretty are those? I'll bring them up a bit closer so you can see. Uh, let me grab a piece of white paper so you can see through the... Aren't those beautiful? So you can use both those pieces now. Oh! We are close, Jenny. Married in May. So those are really, really pretty, aren't they? And I love this. It's such a fine, pretty little piece. And even though I haven't done it perfectly, you can see there's pink on the leaves, there's green in the flowers, or mint. Mint and Berry Burst are the colours that I've used. Mint, mint Macaron and Berry Burst. And they're not perfect. They're not nearly perfect. But they are so pretty, aren't they? So, you know, it's, it's not something that you have to be terribly skilled to be able to do something like this. So, if you can grab yourself a pack of this um, delightfully detailed laser cut paper, it is really, really worthwhile. Because you can get double. And if you want to be really, really crazy, you could even flip this over and use it as a mask again. Or if, even just use it as the white or the, or the uh, vanilla, whichever side you haven't used. Because it's white on one side and vanilla on the other side. So I use the vanilla side. I've coloured over the top of the vanilla side. Which it doesn't really make much difference when you colour over the top of it, whether you use white or vanilla. It's a little bit softer. When you use the vanilla but you could use it as plain white if you don't want to use the colored side 
or you could use it as a mask again. Very, very, very easy technique. And I've only used the two colours and it's not like I haven't blended it perfectly. You can see all of the little spots and stuff where I've made my little dots. It's not done perfectly, but it's just such a pretty technique. It doesn't have to be done perfectly. Okay, so we're going to use these, right, because they are gorgeous. And I've got my pieces of cardstock here. So I'll chuck my washi tape in the bin. And I'll put my little finger daubers away. So I think it's a five pack. You get a five pack for like $9, something like that, for the finger daubers. <laughs> and then have a look at my... Sahara sand one. I've daubed the crap out of that one. <laughs> he needs to be replaced. <laughs> but that's alright. Oh, can never get these things shut. There we go. Alright, so. Get rid of my notepad. Now I'm pretty sure these are already cut down to size. I'm just scoring them at 10.5. So I cut at 14.85 and score at 10.5. You can cut at 14.8 or 14.9 it doesn't make too much difference yeah, it's half a millimeter <laughs> I'm just pedantic so you don't have to be pedantic alrighty oh, isn't that beautiful look at that so pretty so pretty. Okay. Have a moment. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> I do that when I'm um, excited by how cute something is. I forget to breathe. <laughs> One of my strong points have been another. Alright, so I might use those bits aren't big enough. Use one of these bits. This is shimmery white cardstock. Um, and I don't know, it's got a very soft, if you haven't seen it in person, it's got a very soft shimmer to it. But you can actually use it as uh, watercolour paper. Hi Pamela. Thanks Vicky. Um, so anyway, it's a bit of fun to, you can do watercolouring or you can, it takes the blends really well. It's, and I just like that it's a bit shimmery. It's a bit pretty. So let's stamp. A couple of these little pups and then we'll oh I haven't used this one before just trying to figure out why I couldn't get it out of the the pack look at that it's brand new <laughs> and he's adorable he's got a little love heart on his collar oh the other one does as well I was gonna say how can I use not use the one with the love heart on its collar sacrilege Okay, so I am going to colour these with Am I going to colour them? We're going to leave them white 
I suppose I should shave them in a little bit, shouldn't I? So I might use Memento. So with the um, colouring, you need to use the opposites. So if you are using the Stamping Right markers, which are filled with the water water-based ink, the same as the ink pads, then you need to use an alcohol-based black or the liner of the, otherwise it'll smudge when you colour over the, the image. So uh, you'd need to use, if you're using the Stamping Right markers, you'd need to use Stays On or Archival Ink. Um, and I'm using Memento, so I can use the watercolour pencils blended with the blends pens the blenders where are they these guys blender pens uh, or I can use the the stamping blend you know our new alcohol markers uh, or if I wanted to use watercolor pencils and color them with the aqua painter if I had water in the aqua painter then I'd want to use an alcohol based ink and if I had alcohol, like uh, icicle or rubbing alcohol in the aqua painter, then I would want to use a water-based ink. So opposites attract. Anyway, if you're using water-based ink, then you need to use alcohol markers. If you're using alcohol-based ink, then you need to use water-based markers. Or pencils. What ifs. Anywho. So... I might just stamp a couple of these little pups and I think I'm going to cut them out or maybe I should cut them out first and then stamp them in the centers might use this guy the little oh he's got the parrot with him Suppose we can keep the parrot, can't we? Let me grab it. I just got a new D block. <laughs> I found two wasn't enough. <laughs> there you go. Brand's banking new. So you're gonna, and now he's not going to fit on there anyway. <laughs> okay, next size up. Now it doesn't matter too much if these aren't completely straight because I'm going to cut them out and pop them onto uh, I'm going to die cut them with the stitched edged ones or I'll fussy cut them if I can't get them to fit. We'll figure it out later. And I'm going to use, um, I'll use this little guy with the bone in his mouth uh, for on the inside of the card. So, let's get colouring. It's going to do a little bit of... little bit of grey. So I've got the light smoky slate and the dark smoky slate and I'm going to start with the dark and then go over it with the light. So 
so we'll just do just doing around the edges And a bit around the tail, a bit around the shadows. And then back over with the light. And you don't want to use blends to colour directly onto um, directly onto a card front. You want to put it up on a layer because they do bleed through. And just um, just give an extra little bit of love to where your two colours meet, and that way you can blend out the um, the lines where the darker. where the darker shade is. Sorry, I can't do two things at once. I'm trying to have a <laughs> have a conversation and try not to colour outside the lines. Colouring is not my strong point, but these kind of images are good because it doesn't matter too much if you can't stay in the lines. You know, they're kind of... you got some room for some artistic flair, let's call it. Hmm. <laughs> So I'll show you guys on here, you can see where where the dark is, where I've drawn the dark lines around the bottom of his face and the bottom of his ears. And if I just go over that, and I'm using little circles to sort of blend, blend up and over. And you can see that the line has actually faded a fair bit, which is why they're called blends, obviously, because you can you can really blend the colour in. Okay, and We'll do some Calypso Coral. I should have done that. Well, I don't have Berry Burst anyway, do I? But I should have done Mint Macaron to stay with the...
stay with the colour of the the colours in the card. Kind of looks like a bit like a, a glow in the dark now because it's got the, the shade of red <laughs> around the outside. Let's see if we can fix it up. That's the good thing about the blends is that you can actually just keep colouring over the colours and they they blend together so well that you can get rid of one colour and make it a different colour. <laughs> so there we go, I've just gotten rid of the Calypso Coral. And made it mint macaron instead. Here's your one on one on one oh one basics on how not to use the stamping blends. <laughs> Alright. I'll show you another cute tip with this highlighter. I'm just gonna colour that whole balloon with the dark mint macaron. And then I'm going to use the highlighter to just go over that, that little uh, shiny bit. So it just gives it a little, little white uh, reflection off the top. And I suppose lovely lipstick is a bit close to the the sponge colour. Know if I want to use Mango Melody. What else have I got? I might use Night of Navy. Anyone who loves parrots is telling me these are not the correct colours, I'm sure. <laughs> But 
but I think he is a rather lovely little parrot. So, That'll do. So I've got these rubber bands and this was actually Angie Fairburn. I'm not sure if you're on here today, Angie. But this is one of Angie's ideas. Was to use rubber bands to keep your light and dark together. Simple but effective. So I'll just quickly pop these away. My desk is quite small. And it gets a bit cray cray very quickly. So I try to just pop everything away as I work. Okay. Hi Kathy. Hi Maria. Hi Michelle. Thanks for watching guys. Alrighty. Let's do the big shot. Shapes dies. That's not quite going to fit. So I will. Fussy cut the sky. I suppose I should have put it in a rectangle one, shouldn't I? Let me see. Let me see if I've got a rectangle. Yeah, here as well. So these rectangle dies are actually the prize this month. For my customers, if you shop with me, if you shop with me during March and use my host code, which is EBQKZCGB, and it is on my blog at jessiehalton.com as well. Um, then you, if you spend $90 or more, you will go in the drawer for my rectangle, sh uh, rectangle stitched shapes dies. And you'll also get your celebration goodie, which is pretty cool. And it's the last month for celebration. It's also the last month to join... So if you're still sitting on the fence, you've got about 10 days to decide. Because it is an awesome deal at the moment. $315 worth of stuff. For $169. That is almost half price, guys. That is almost half price. 
and in fact if you add it on the uh, the price of shipping then it probably would be half price so um, definitely think about it because 315 worth of stuff for 169 and no obligation is a pretty sweet deal. Now I might do the bigger circle as well. Another colour? No. I'll leave it. Dyes are going everywhere. So you can find the link to join my team on my page, on my Facebook page, it's on my blog. If you're not sure, I can message it to you or email it to you. It's definitely worth checking out the joining offer though. Don't have to sell or do parties. You can just use it for your own discount. That's fine. I joined when I joined. I was never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> never ever ever going to order another thing I was going to be a kit napper I was going to run off into the sunset with my kit and never put through another order or do parties definitely wasn't going to sell anything <laughs> and look at me now <laughs> so yeah don't stress you just want to join get the kit get a discount for yourself you're more than welcome to do that uh, and it's a fantastic deal so you know just don't pass it up while it, while you got the opportunity to get an extra $80 worth of freebies in your kit you should definitely go for it uh, so I might do some well that's pool party I don't think I've got any mint macaron ribbon I have a little bit of Berry Burst ribbon though. That's a bit cute. Alright, so let's stick this on. Now I quite like my ribbon to show on the inside of my card as well. So if you don't like it to show on the inside, feel free to add the ribbon now before you glue your insert on the front. And I think I'm going to do it that way up. I also don't glue my ribbon to my card. And it actually works really well because then you can move the ribbon around. You don't have to be really specific about where you tie it. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, so this is what I was talking about with the bleeding. So that's why you don't want to do it on your card front. You want to make sure that it's always on a layer because it does go through a little bit. So give yourself some, some room for that to go through.
what sentiments do we have? Maybe I'll do just for you. This one's a good one, actually. We'll use the... I haven't stuck the stickers on these ones yet. What's this? Clear mount. Get rid of these stickers. And I'm going to... Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. That's nice, isn't it? Just going to move this bow down here while I stamp it. So I don't stamp on the bow. That's so cute. Pop some little Little dots of Tombow on, and then just so I've got a little tiny bit of Tombow on the end of my scissors. Mm, silver, I think. There we go. And just wipe your scissors clean. Easy peasy. A bit cute, isn't it? I don't like that bow right up there, though. Let me put it back in the center a little bit. That's better. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to very carefully Very carefully do the outline and then I'm just going to pick some of these bigger flowers I'm just doing dots on the petals and you can't possibly stick every single little bit down so just Try and get a few bits here and there. 
you don't want to wreck it as well. You don't want to have so much glue on there that it all seeps out the sides and, you know, maybe try and get a few bits on these little, little leaves that are going to stick up because they're a bit fragile. But, I mean, you've got to be really careful. You don't want to overdo it. Alrighty, I think that'll do. And I know that's not centered, guys, <laughs> but I'm not going to lift it up and move it because then I'm going to have glue all over the card front. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> and you know what? The person who receives this card isn't going to go, oh my God, they didn't put it in the right place because they don't know where it's meant to go. Get rid of some of this glue that's on my on my paper. <laughs> I've been doing um, my swaps for on stage, <laughs> so I've been working like a banshee straight out of hell. <laughs> Trying to get them all done. I always end up making too many. <laughs> but, uh, better to have too many than not enough, right? Okay. We're just going to go with it. Alright. So. It's a bit of a waste on there, isn't it? Why don't we go do... Where's the other little guy? I suppose it's not too bad if we do same one again. We're not going to send them to the same person. <laughs> Alrighty. Ray, me. This one might even look a bit better because we're not going to stuff up the collar again, are we? <laughs>
espera. Okay. That's better, isn't it? We don't want to cover up all those pretty flowers. Try that again. That's better. Some dimensionals on the sky. Just stick them on there, hey? So I'm going to cover something up, no matter where I stick them. about love and sympathy
I'll stitch it just for you. That was a bit of a crappy step. Try again, that's better. <laughs> I pushed too hard. Alrighty. Hi Sandy. And then she worked on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Hi Kylie. Hmm. I don't even want to put this one up on dimensionals. I'm just going to stick it down there. Do some more. Sorry for the yawning, guys. You're not bothering. You're not boring me. <laughs> Just have a little two-year-old terror at the moment. My little wrap bag. Two there. And he is just up all night making sure none of us get any sleep. There we go. That's a bit cute. So that's the two halves, basically the same card. Two halves of the, using the uh, detailed laser cut DSP as a mask for the other one. And they're both really cute cards, aren't they? Anyway, that's it. Uh, I suppose I should do some insights for them as well, shouldn't I? One each, even. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's put this away and this away. Whoops, sorry, guys. And get our little puppy dog out.
into a crumb cake bone. Alrighty, that'll do. And I'll be your up when you're feeling down. I think that's pretty cute. I do not think I inked the top half of that stamp either time. <laughs> Maybe we can find some little love hearts, I think. It's kind of missing. Or maybe some little flowers. Got some little flowers that look similar. What about what about forever lovely? It's got these three little hearts that are adorable. And that will just finish off the card nicely, I think. Need just a little, little bit of berry burst inside, don't we? Just to keep with the theme. Cute. And these pre-cut uh, inserts come in handy. I go through a ton of them, but it just makes life so easy when you have a whole heap cut up, ready to go. I actually cut up a whole pack of the normal white cards card stock. So you know you get the thick white one or the regular one. So I just use the regular one because, you know, I'm mainly just using it for inserts. And that's also one on the front that I used as well, which is why I didn't put it up on dimensionals because it's just the thin white cardstock and it warps a little bit when you've got dimensionals underneath it. But that's that. Two really cute little puppy dog cards. Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. That was from the Healing Hugs stamp set. And Just For You came from the Bella and Friends with the little puppy dogs. And this is the Detail Laser Cut DSP, which is out of the annual catalogue, but you can get it at the moment as a celebration goodie. Um, it is. It has got a different code, so if you're using it for as a freebie, as your celebration freebie, you need to use that code, not the one from the annual catalogue. If you use the code from the annual catalogue, you'll have to pay the twenty dollars odd that it costs. But how cute are they? A little bit of sponge daubering, and it really didn't take that long to do the sponge daubering. So, anyway. At least one of these will be going off to find a home very shortly. <laughs> but that's that. 
Thanks for joining me guys. This is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Please use my March host code if you're shopping with me before the end of the month. It's EBQKZCGB. This code is also on my blog, jessieholton.com. So you can just copy and paste it. Thanks Vicky. Thanks Sarah. <laughs> um, so this is the last month for celebration goodies, the last month to get your 90 your freebies with your $90 order and also the last month to join my team and get the $315 worth of stuff for $169. From the 1st of April it will go back down to $235 for $169. So you're getting an extra $80 worth of freebies if you join my team within the next 10 days. It's definitely worth it if you've been thinking about it. Now is the time to join. And I also have my stamp camp coming up in September and we have only got a couple of rooms left. So um, I think there is three bedrooms left. They can be twin share if you want to come with a friend. Um, you can have the room twin share or you can opt to have the room to yourself. Uh, but they only have... 10 rooms set up at the moment so we have now got seven rooms taken which is fantastic and I'm super excited to uh, craft again with all the lovely ladies I've got a couple of returning uh, crafters and a couple of new people so that's really exciting and we'll be using all new stuff from the new annual catalogue so um, definitely come along, we'll learn lots of techniques, we'll have some fun layouts, some fun colour combos and of course we just in general have a lot of fun, there's lots of chit chat, we go out for lunches and dinners and um, it's always a great group. So I would love for you to come but be quick if you want to come along because there's only a couple of rooms left and I'm so, so chuffed that... Uh, my stamp camp is almost sold out so thank you to everyone who has already registered and I cannot wait I cannot wait to craft with you <laughs> all right have a great day guys I'll chat to you later bye